Okay, in these ones, we're going to calculate the APY, annual percentage yield. The APY, the annual percentage yield, as we saw in the last questions, really is only dependent upon the number of compounding periods. If it's once a year, it's annual, the thing that's cool is that, that the, the interest rate is the APY. If we compound more often, the APY will actually be a little bit larger. So one of the things we can do in, say, question 30, it might seem like they don't give us enough information. They just want us to calculate the APY for an account that pays 3.6% compounded monthly. Okay, well, we start filling in, it's compounded monthly. Okay, I can do that. And it's 3.6%, I can do that. But they don't tell me for how long. They don't tell me what the future value or present value or payments is. And here's what we can do. When we invest, it doesn't matter whether we invest $1 or $10 million, each dollar is getting the interest applied at the same time. So for looking at the rate, the effect on the rate, um, what we can do is invest $1 for one year. So this is going to be 12 times 1. $1 for one year, that's what you want to remember. So our number of periods will be 12. Our future value will be that $1 grown by however much that interest is. And since we did it for one year, what the cool part is, if we take back our dollar, the, the cents that we're left with is going to be our interest rate. Let's see. Okay. So we do that. No payments. Um, so just give this a try and watch how this works. We click on the future value. So invest $1 for one year and let's see what happens. What we get is we've gotten back 1.0366. One dollar, three cents, and 66, uh, three, yeah, hundreds, thousands. Uh, so we would usually round this, but what it allows us to do is that this part back here, so this one dollar is what we invested. We subtract that off, and, and this is going to be our interest rate here. So. Um, again, we take our 1.0366, subtract 1 from it, because that's what we started with. We have 0 0.0366. To make it an interest rate, we um, multiply by 100, turning it back into an interest rate. So 3.66 is our APY. So let's go take a look at 31. Again, basically, we know semi-annually, 5.8%. So semi-annually is 2, or select semi-annual. That means we're going to take 2 times 1, because remember, we do everything for one year. It's going to give us 2 here. The stated interest rate is 5.8%, no payments. We're now going to click on the future value button. And our return at the end of that one year with two compoundings is 1.0588. So you can see it here. Take that $1 back. It's going to be 5.88 APY. So write that down here. 1.0588. Subtract off 1. And what you get is 5.88% APY. Okay. 32. Calculate the APY for account that gets 4.7%. 4.7% uh, compounded quarterly. So we write that in. Um, we're going to do one dollar for one year. So four times one, four periods, no payments. Calculate the future value. We get 1.0478. Okay, 4.78 percent. We get a, 
an extra eighth of a hundredth of a percent by going quarterly. So, so we'll take the one minus that. Uh, we're going to get a 4.78% APY.